call of the children. Ah, it's uh, an old crawl space. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite, which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new villages, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dies that day to the fate of your offspring, and joy, yes, joy, that today her representative, me, the Nene Fortuna, has come to share her good news with all of you. Prepare to experience this joy, citizens, for what does random do? Even odd. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute! Make a wish! <sighs> and the Queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now, row the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. <gasps> it had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Fod's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen, up in the Sixer's palace, where, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning.
More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed a painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could paint an image of great, 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 an image of great, great grandfather Peters. Two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to even his father. Never told her stories. He preferred... Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? And even didn't want to wake her parents. The scariest painting even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man. A mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured too far from home. These paintings showed stories even's odd shoes. Little parts of even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since odd even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her, Never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen. same stuffed animal she'd given odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling, you're trying to find your sister, aren't you? I'm afraid the past is the past, child. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. Wait up, please! Wait up! This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family lived. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even.
Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Honestly, even, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. I think you're cool, even. Even if you should listen to your parents more. My parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. You guys are so touchy. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Listen, even, it takes two to be a jerk. One to be the jerk, and the other to be an even bigger jerk by pointing it out. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Ah, oh, that's mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. Whoa. Not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that, too, if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, even. Hey, shut up. <gasps> there, you saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? City life. I must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So. figure even knew that her fate was changing that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time <laughs> 